Hello everyone, welcome to the Pop YouTube channel. Actor Ezra Miller has been arrested multiple times in Hawaii as a result of scuffles and was previously charged with domestic violence. Parents of Tokata Iron Eyes have now revealed that Miller is placing their teenage daughter in danger, which prompted them to file legal documents. If you want more of this content, then you've come to the right YouTube channel, Plenty of Pop Fan. We've scoured Facebook groups, Twitter feeds, Reddit, Discord, and even Telegram board to get you to the most up-to-date info on your favorite celebrity or juicy Hollywood gossip. If you have a tip, story, or even correction on our intel, comment below and we'll be sure to follow it up. Let's dive right into what Ezra Miller is facing right now. The wild stories surrounding Ezra Miller continue to come out in the latest case of a lawsuit this time with the parents of a teenage activist, Tokata Iron Eyes, citing their friendship starting in 2016 when she was 12 and Miller was 23. Additionally, the family has continued to travel, but now at her own expense. However, their friendship also reportedly resulted in her dropping out of school for an extended period to travel around with him. In a legal document obtained by TMZ, the parents of Tokata Iron Eyes alleged that Ezra Miller used violence and intimidation to hold her under his way. One quote reads, Ezra uses violence, intimidation, the threat of violence, fear, paranoia, delusions, and drugs to hold sway over a young adolescent Tokata. Tokata Iron Eyes' parents are insisting that the legal system get involved for their daughter's safety, and there are reportedly plans for a day in court next month. But what does Tokata think about all of this? The young activist posted a long response on Instagram, explaining her side and maintaining that there is no need for legal action or a conservatorship. Tokata Iron Eyes, a prominent young environmental activist, seemed to endorse Miller online. However, her parents have asked the courts for help in getting her back. She is the daughter of Chase Iron Eyes, an attorney dedicated to fighting for the rights of Native Americans. Someone has apparently released an Instagram account purportedly belonging to Tokata, but that account is unverified. The account includes a video of Tokata and Miller, and the content can be followed by Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Tokata has always struggled for justice since she was 9 years old when she testified against a uranium mine. She uses her platform to engage at Standing Rock and to talk about missing and murdered indigenous women across the U.S. Tokata uses her voice to advocate change in a complacent society. She travels the world spreading awareness of climate crisis she claims is a result of human greed. Their story in court documents, which the lawsuit states are moments of key importance to their friendship, is where they met. They first visited Standing Rock Reservation in North Dakota in 2016. Miller shares a 2012 video with Chase Iron Eyes in which they are visiting the Black Hills. It was alleged that in 2017, when she was 14, Tokata flew to London with Miller and similar friends to visit the set of Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Growing up on Standing Rock and Pine Ridge Reservations, she has experienced native and western ways of teaching, thus developing a natural ability to relate to many people and have a clear perspective of colonization and capitalism. Tokata was recently featured on the Marvel Hero Project on Disney+, a series shining light on young people who are changing the world. Tokata is also a singer and songwriter. She began attending college in January 2020. She hopes to inspire more youth from indigenous communities, as well as around the world, to use their voice and confront injustice. It is currently unclear whether any of the alleged acts took place, but their friendship grew and her parents accused Miller of several other acts. Chase and his wife Sarah Jumping Eagle also accused him of creating a school disruption that caused Dakota to drop out in December 2021. The parents claim that they flew to Miller's house in January 2022 to retrieve Tokata, but found that she didn't have her driver's license, car keys, or bank card. The parents also claim they found bruises on Tokata's body, which they claim Miller caused. Tokata later fled her parents' home, 
following legal documents and reunited with Miller in New York City before traveling to Vermont, Hawaii, and Los Angeles together. The filing alleges that Tokata was with Miller during his recent arrest in Hawaii. Within the documents obtained from her parents, Ezra uses a variety of methods to control Tokata over an adolescent. Tokata has been a prominent activist from a very young age. She met Greta Thunberg in 2019 as they rallied against climate change and the proposed Keystone XL pipeline. The Instagram account on which Tokata seemingly made her statement speaking out against her father recently posted a video featuring Miller. On Sunday, a short video showed her sitting on some steps alongside Miller who appears to be smoking. Miller has been charged with disorderly conduct and harassment over a number of recent incidents this year. To add to the list, Miller was arrested in Hawaii after getting involved in an argument with another customer at a karaoke bar earlier this year. Less than a month later, Miller has been arrested again for allegedly throwing a chair at a woman. A video was released of Miller shouting at the arresting officers. A statement released by the Hawaii Police Department detailed. Shortly after 1 o'clock Tuesday, April 19, 2022, a 29-year-old visitor from Vermont was arrested for second-degree assault after an incident at a residence in Pauhua. At this time, the Ezra Miller team has yet to release a statement about these new allegations. However, due to previous accusations made about him in Hawaii and across the U.S., we should expect this to be a lasting phenomenon. Miller has been making waves in Hawaii for months, and now there is another wild headline about them. The studio has denied reports of emergency meetings about the actor. The flash is already in the can. There's no guarantee that the Fantastic Beasts 4 will even happen. We'll just have to wait and see if the studio actually distances itself from the actor. The release date for The Flash is expected to be June 23, 2023. To plan your next movie experience and see some more popular superhero movies this year, check out the July 21, 2022 release dates. That's it for this video, Plenty of Paw fan. Remember to subscribe to our channel for all the latest celebrity news and gossip. It's like candy you can't stop eating. We'll cover what celebrities are wearing, who's dating who, and not dating anymore. It's hard to keep up with the recent happenings in their lives. We'll satisfy your gossip fix daily. Comment below if there's a celebrity in particular you want us to cover, or a juicy news tip you'd like to share.